BK Farms is a poultry farm and uh, we specialize in producing eggs and chicken meat. We've been running the business for the past two years and five months now. I mean, I heard about Engine just a year into my business. So I'd say I'm in, we're probably in our startup phase, still in the startup phase, and I heard about Engine. So that's when I, you know, I decided to apply for Engine. It was my second time applying for Engine. It's very practical. Our say is one of the most practical grants, um, you know, um, our say organizations or program that I've, I've come across. That don't just talk about, you know, we'll help you, but then we're helping you, we're giving you advice, but then also we are adding up, you know, practically does a seed funding because you can receive all training and all, you know, all the support, but then if you don't have a grant to implement your idea, it's going to be difficult. So first, of course, of, of course, I got a grant. And then in my business plan, the, the, the idea was to expand my business, you know, to increase the capacity of the farm. So as you see, we have a, a structure here, which I use my seed capital to build. Yeah, I co-finance with the farm's revenue, but then I would say 70% was from my award from Engine. We are expecting 3,500 daily chicks as baby chicks in the next three weeks to fill that. This is also, it's a, it's a double decker, but it's a half double decker. So it's half on the top. Yeah, and it can take 3,500 beds total, yeah. And also, it's already, the, the drinker, you see the, the pipes are already lined up. You just have to fix the drinkers to it. Whatever you put in the bed is where you get out for the bed. So, efficient, efficient management, taking good management practices. Neatness starts from us ourselves as a farmer and the workers here, and show neatness. So if you, if you look, if you enter in our building, we have a, what we call the food bath. So that's our food bath. Before you enter, you have to step in the food bath to disinfect if you have taken any bacteria in it. At least that will get rid of that before you get into it. It's very critical because we pick up stuff from the ground. You know, you don't know where you're being. You know, so it's put out. And this is a high form, of, concentrated form of um, disinfectant. So it's going to kill most bacteria and fungi. We have a special footwear we take into the farm. These are footwear. We don't just take any footwear. Before you enter, you have to pick this one. We don't take it anywhere. We just leave it here. It's for the farm. And we wash it every week with disinfectant to make sure it's also this is free and also neatness has to do with inside the pen you know, making sure that the, the, the room the beds the room of the beds is clean as much as possible of course this is a deep litter they sleep on their own feces and toilet but you have to make sure that it's clean it's always dry because if there's it gets wet it's easy for um, disease to you know have in, in them from you smelling then unless someone tells you there's a farm here so also I try to keep the smell which is which is one of the problems of, with farms you know in urban areas that they turn out of bad odor but my, I try to keep my litter dry. That's what the beds sleep on. The, their bedding, I call the litter. I try to keep it dry because as much as it's dry, bacteria, fungi cannot stay in it. The yellow stuff is where they are, the feeders. That's where you put your feeding. And we have the drinkers, the red, the red thing. Before we were using manual drinkers, and the problem is that manual drinkers have to, you know, I think four times a day have to go and fill in water. And with that, there can be spillage. You know, it can get spilled in the farm, which also make the litter wet and can cause um, a disease. But then with the tomato drinker. It's run through a pipe. As you see, there's a polytank there that runs through, the water runs through. It keeps the water in there and they can drink it, you know, as much as they want. It won't spill on the floor. And also it's less labor intensive. You know, I mean, the so far as we pump water into the polytank, that's it. We put it on and then the water runs through. So this is our feed storage room where we store our feed and also our, some of our equipment. Yeah. Okay, so this is our egg storage room and also egg grading room. This is basically where we, when we take the eggs from the farm, we bring them here, grade them and store them here. Well, egg, the eggs don't stay longer here because we deliver daily. So majority, I mean, the, the longest stay could be here, here three days and it's started here. So this is our farm office and also farm building, also um, residence for farm workers. We also have a restroom and everything for visitors and also our farm workers. Engine, as I said, is one of the most practical competition or uh, programs I've, you know, I've experienced in the country. I mean, I've had so many, um, you know, uh, competitions, but engine is, experience with engine was very great. I mean, I still have, I, I mean, it's been two years since I, I contacted engine, but I'm still in contact with them. We're still having seminars, they're still giving support and advice. So I think it's one of the most practical. If you're looking to start a business and you have a good idea, I don't know why you're sitting home. Get in touch with engine. I mean, that's if you want an assured way, you know, to get your business started. And not just that, they're going to hold your hand, help you throughout the process. So I think Agent is one of the most practical and um, effective um, granting slash competition, business competition uh, programs in the country. And I recommend it to every business person in the country. Yeah.